Hey guys, it's Feral Crafter. And this game is called Eternal Lands. It came out in 2004. It's a very old, old game. It's a, a two-person operation. It's a husband-wife. The wife apparently uh, gave up, so it's just the husband who's been maintaining it since 2000-something. So it's over 13 years old. And oddly enough, it's a really good game, but that is not why I am doing my recording. There's been a local festival here where I, I headed out and I did a little socializing, and it's interesting to watch people. It really is. Uh, there was, um, you know, next to the dance stage, and there's these two ladies who are really into each other, and there's a guy... Apparently all three arrived somehow. Um, don't know the details. I was wandering around the festival and I saw them earlier. There's this one girl, rather slender, a little short, uh, five foot six. And she was wearing some decent stuff and rather skimpy. But then she had this veil that covered her but didn't because it's this very thin or this large weave. A uh, veil, and uh, you can see right through it. You can see her legs, you can see her, her uh, thighs, her shoulders, and it was kind of I don't know how to describe it. It's kind of like, um, oh, I don't know, color purple? No, not color purple. Um, it was blowing pretty strong, so her veil was just blowing around. It looked majestic. I'm in the food court. I'm trying to get around her. So I go to the left, she turns to the goes to the right. I turn to the left, she goes to the left, I turn to the right. She keeps walking left. I'm like, fucking, thank God. Get the hell away from me. I'm trying to get around you. I don't know if she knew I was behind her. It's... There's something... can read each other's mind. Or aura. Let's just call it aura. People can subconsciously read people's auras, and they don't know they're doing it. Uh, I, I want to point out the exact type of person, but that would be called racists, and no one cares about the truth, so forget it. So there's an individual type of person where if you go to the right, they'll go to the right. You go to the left, they'll go to the left. There's no way to get past them even if you can't see them. They actually feel your aura and match it. And these people are obnoxious and I can't tell you what type their person, type of person that is because that's fucking racist. But anyways, I was thinking that that's what this person was doing. Uh, no, this one happened just to be, you know, we made this We're oblivious. There's no... Anyways, uh, it was like two ladies and a guy. Well, out on the dance floor, these two girls are putting up with this one guy. He's a good-looking guy, you know. He's he's hitting on these two ladies, but the two ladies, ladies are into each other instead of him. And you know, he's taking these snapshots and these selfies, and I'm like, God, this is obnoxious, you know. So I'm, I'm dancing to whatever music they're playing on the stage. I've got my earplugs in because, ouch, too damn loud. So I'm like, if this guy takes another goddamn picture of these two ladies, I'm going to go mess with them in the background. So I see him switch his camera 90 degrees like he's going to take another picture. I'm like... Perfect. So I wander up behind him. I look like I'm licking his neck and I'm just nibbling. I'm like, oh yeah. Mmm. And the girls start breaking up. I'm like, alright, time, you know, breaking up laughing. Um, so I'm like, alright, time to move on. I move on. The guy looks around like, fuck, what the fuck's going on? I take like five steps into a crowd. These, I'm blocking people's views. I, I take a 180. I wander on back. And the guy is confused, like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> and uh, 
you know, I I uh, I wander up and he's like, "What's what happened? Why are you laughing at? What's going on?" I wander up and I'm like, "Nothing. Nothing happened. Nothing at all." Want some popcorn? Cause uh, at the uh, food court where I saw them earlier, I grabbed a uh, kettle corn, big old bag of kettle corn. And I was by the time I got to the stage, I was halfway through it. I, I've already wandered through the park and you know chatted with other people. So. Um, Sure. Nom, nom, nom. I'm like, don't care. I offered it to the ladies, and they're like, oh, I'm watching my figures. One of them was fat as fuck. Mm, sorry, didn't mean to cuss. The one was just blimpish, and the other one was fairly non blimpish. And they're like, oh, we can't have that because mm, our figure. I'm like, yeah, right. What? And the guy's like, mm, popcorn. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> so, um. So in the end, it was like, what's going on? And uh, the thin girl put up her hand, and I high-fived it, and she smiled. And, and the big girl smiled, and I high-fived her. And the absolutely baffled. He knew. And them, and had no clue what was going on. And I, I, I <laughs> it was awesome. It really was, and I'm just like dun 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 dun. <laughs> so these uh, girls were very pleased that I annoyed the. F but he had no clue, and these girls were just all sorts of giddy. It's festival, damn! I'd like to tell. YouTube would approve.